<laughs> that one is a welcoming song uh -huh. and they say the meaning of this song they say welcome to moja it is a blessing home for all people around the world wow yeah. So guys, that is a song whose bull is the pet. <laughs> guys, you can see kids here. And uh, that is also the same question I'm asking myself. And we will get to answer it. Why are that fathers? Because they don't allow men here. Men from the visitors, mm -hmm. they call and they beat them. They say those are the stupid ladies who came to form their own group. Okay. Houses. Yes. So we plan to put all houses the modern door for the same. Because if they don't put the modern door, what happens? Men comes to rape them or disturb them. Can you imagine? Oh. Good morning. Good morning, guys. It's morning here. The time now is uh, eight nineteen. We begin the day. Hey, Kenneth. Yeah. How was your night? Awesome, man. You had a splendid time in Nanyuki. <laughs> I see you are out the Kenyan. Uh, yes, always. Looking very yeah. sharp. Yes. It's another day, guys. Let's get yeah, to Guys, we are going to the, the village. Women planets. Women planet, you know. <laughs> there are no men. Men are not allowed in the village. And we, the journey began yesterday, but we left Nairobi late. Today, we decided to leave early. It's two hours from here. So we're just trying to catch up so that we get there early. We show you why do why don't they allow men in that village? And we are men, and we are headed to that village. You want to see how women society looks like, you know? <laughs> how it's being operated, you know, how they run their things. That is what we want to go and see. There is Mount Kenya right there. So we're supposed to head like this. Yeah. Bus terminus is this way. Actually, it's here. Well, let's pass through the park. Oh. A very quiet town. Uh, very, very quiet, chill. chill. Nairobi weather. It's cool, chill. Yeah, yeah. It's like Nairobi weather. Yeah, this is like Nairobi weather. But I think it gets extreme. The tap water was too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I think it was cold. My, my room service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This place, very, very cold. The, the water that is, but uh, the weather is like just like Nairobi. Searching every corner, and most businesses are still closed. <laughs> it's eight, bro. You guys are going to very late. In Nigeria, around seven, around six thirty, you will see a very hot rice, hot jollof rice. <laughs> 7, 8, ah. 7 in the morning, 7 a.m. You see hot jollof, can eat, you can buy any kind of food around 7 or 6.30 in Nigeria. So guys, we're using the park, crossing the park as we, as we leave. So, yeah. so guys, we're supposed to leave. We are leaving with this, uh, this shuttle, but it's not yet full. I don't know how long it will take for the shuttle to be full. It's early. We want to get there early as possible because we've never been to that village. So we're just looking for a way of. Uh, I already have my tickets. So I haven't paid though because we can stay here for long, but we don't want to overstay. So we are waiting. If there can be an alternative or someone that we can get, you know, easy or direct cars, we will. And I'm with Kenneth here. Yes, guys. We've already geared <laughs> to go and um, uh, see. Yeah. This car will take a lot of time to fill up. Yeah, it can take a lot of time. Let's go. Let's check out for alternative. But the problem is, you see, this is the bus terminal. Will we get like some other place that? This is not the only one. Okay, yeah, this is the one. This is the bus terminal. The many old buses. Guys are still waking up. Chai. Hey, so guys, we are in uh, Siolo. 
Is he going now? Is he going now? So from here to Isiolo, from here to He's going the uh, Moja here, village. The car. It's 40 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Wait. So from here. Come and get it. Where do you say we should go to this side? Let's just uh, and pass. Yeah. That and pass. Yes. Yeah. Let's check how many people are here. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So we want to check if we can go with this. One day or two days, three days? Huh? One day only? No, to the end of two hours. Oh, I'm going to drop you off now. Yeah, let's go. I'm going to drop you off now. I'm going to drop you off now. 3,000. What drop? Uh, How much? How much? Uh, <laughs> See, I've, I've traveled around Kenya. No, I know when there's a foul play. I've traveled around Kenya to understand the very well. When there's a foul play, no. Yeah, look, yeah, looks like what, what is this? Where? Yeah. Looks like shrine. Well, this is a this is a boss, right? What is it we're supposed to take there? This guy said 3,000. That is private tax. The gate is like 20 minutes. Let's just take me from here. At Chai Sports. Yeah, from there we'll take boat. Take boat down. Yeah, we'll go here like this. guys we are here I'm in Samburu and right ahead of me right there is Umoja village but we are going deep inside to see so we just got here we are headed to the village with only men only women men are not allowed in that village this village was basically founded in 1990 by a lady called Rebecca Lolo Soli Yes, just to fill you in. Lolo Soli. Ah, Lolo Soli, Lolo Soli, Lolo Soli. Yeah. And this was just a, basically a village that uh, women will run to when they have experience like domestic violence or the ones that uh, are running away from FGM. That is a female genital mutilation. So they will run to this village, you know, for safety. So Rebecca created this village, you know, to help like uh, this type of women. And I'm with Kenneth Nwache here. Yeah. So you give yeah. people young girls, young yeah, ladies who are, who are running from a early marriage. Yeah, yeah. With they the run. They use that place as a safe haven. Yeah, yeah. And we are I, I should have dropped my bag, my laptop in the hotel. But let's go. This side is so sunny. It's very hot, man. But we have our caps with... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. protect us from... Sure. So guys, this is Samburu County. Welcome on board. Yeah, it gives me that kind of Tukana vibe. Tukana vibe. Tukana is hot oh, like Tukana this. Is, Tukana is uh, more dry. That's a lot work. A lot of region. Yeah, it's more dry then. So guys, see you around. Let's walk all the way. This is more like a desert, right? Yeah, yeah, it's semi desert. But I love the house, it's a bit like a Tukana. It will be dry land, but you see some green. Baby, you go to the hotel, you go to the hotel, you go to the hotel. You can even see the vegetation, it's mostly this acacia. Yeah.
so guys we just arrived at Umoja village this is Umoja village and this is the welcome Okay. okay, what is uh, you'll also be telling me what are they saying? <laughs> <laughs> that one is a welcome song, uh -huh. and they say the meaning of this song they say, Welcome to Moja, it is a blessing home for all people around our world. Wow. Yeah. You know, dance <laughs> yes, this is Umoja, Matriaki. Only, only uh, ladies live in this village, and this is the welcoming song as you are welcomed in. <laughs> As you can see the house structures. Karibu means welcome. That is what I get. Again, it means visitor. And I look like a real visitor. Hi. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> song they were going to understand you. Yes. It's a general song, and we know we usually use as a ceremonial song. Okay. So when we see the two ladies as dance at the front of the other, they yes. say which bull is better, mine or yours? It is like competition. Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh.
So guys, that is a song whose bull is the pet. <laughs> So the third one now, it is a lady song. So they teach ladies how to dance. When they go outside to meet with their ladies, they know how to dance. Oh, It is a unity song, so they united themselves through songs, and also they touch each other to go together, so no one can be a <laughs> Guys, you can see kids here. And uh, that is also the same question I'm asking myself, and we will get to answer it. Where are fathers? They don't allow men here. <laughs> <laughs> questions that you want to ask you will find the answer so first time she have a, a shop at town so some of the ladies know her like a customer so they go to sell the good skin to her and also there's also the violent ladies, those who are not divorced from their family, their husband. Yeah. We have also the girls who get pregnant when they were not yet married. Okay. And also we have the windows. So she, she do a group of those ladies. Okay. So first time she they they do the jewelry, so they send at the roadside. Okay. When the visitors passing away, they send them at the roadside and they support them to buy their jewelry. Yeah. But the men they came to disturb them, they beat them and also they robbed their, their things. So they also taking their money. When they getting money from the visitors, mm -hmm. they take call and they beat them. They say those are the stupid ladies who came to form their own group. So one day they decided they came in together and discussed that issues. Because first time they, they live far away. Yeah. So they don't know the life of each other. Yeah. So they do a meeting, they stay together and discuss that uh, the issues that they were facing at the, the, the roadside 
So they say it is good for them to come to stay together and form their own village. So they start our village in, 20, in 1990. And they begin when they were 15, but now the number is increased. We are, yeah. we are now 38. 38? Yeah. yeah. And we are three tribes. We have Turkanas, we have Prentine and also Samburu. They live together? Yeah, we live now here together. So we are three tribes, Turkana, Rendile and also Samu. So we have close with the windows, we have also the girl who get pregnant when they are not yet married and also those one who divorce from their husband. So here in Umoja we live ladies only, we have our kids. And you know somebody they were called them. So men can marry more than two ladies. Mm -hmm. And also they are, they are, the ladies, they don't have their rights. So everything is for the men. So, and also they don't even educate the girls at all. So they just educate the boys and their girls they kept at the village. When they had someone ask for the wife, they exchanging their girls with the kettle. So when the girl reached nine years, they do the circumcision and now she's ready to be married. Yeah. So they do the post marriage to the young girls and also they saw their girls with the old men. So when their kids go to the to be married with the, those one, the old men, maybe the the men they, they died. So the lady now they get that tribal. So Sunday, but they came again here in Umoja. So at least now here in Umoja we have two ladies who do the FGM training. So they go to the community and teach them the infection of circumcision of the girls and also to stop a forced marriage to the young girls. Yes. But it is hard even for them to go to the community. <coughs> because the community, the, the other men, they seen them. They say that they came to confuse their ladies to divorce also from them. But so they go to school and teach the kids, the children at school, and also they spread the message at the churches. So at least those ones who live near to us, yeah. they stop doing that circumcision. Okay. But those ones who live far away, they start doing it, but they hide. Okay. So they to do it openly. Because it is illegal? Yeah, it is illegal now in Kenya. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So us, we have the primary school, okay. and we have also the nursery school, as we build the nursery school. The entry fees that we ask the visitors, we build the we will be the nursery school <laughs> and we, we ha also have the primary school. So we have the kids from our village and also from the community. So it is a mixed school. So, and normally we, think we, we educate also those girls who are not to uh, circumcise. Yeah, we know that in, in, in our area, in our, in our traditional, so they don't want those ones who are not cutting, who are not circumcised. Yeah. But us, we, we give them support okay. yeah, to <coughs> continue for their education. So when they grow up, they finish all education, they were the one who chose for their husband. Wow. Yeah. So also here in Umoja, we teach also our brothers, our sons, mm -hmm. to be different with their dad. So they came to do the same as they are not doing. Okay. Yeah, because they, they are men, they think to their ladies very badly. But we teach them when they grow up, they know how to treat their wife. Well. Yeah. So. so, sorry, in this village now, men are not allowed to live here. So when our brothers, when they finish all education, okay. so they can go outside to look for their job or even to go to marry outside. Because when they marry the other lady from our neighbors, mm -hmm. maybe they can see the other ladies, the other lady daughter. So they can make the ladies to fight. So that's why we don't allow them to stay together with us. Oh. They go outside to live their own life. So oh. if, if your son, sorry, if you if you get give it to a boy mm -hmm. and when he grows, mm -hmm. he's being sent out of the village. They, when they finish all education, yes. so they can go outside to look for the job okay. or to marry outside. So the, the leader of this place is a woman, the Rebecca. She is the founder, but here now we have a, a group. So we have the chair lady, we have the secretary, we have the treasurers. Yeah. So we do also the uh, the, the, the table banking. Yeah, so when we get something from the market, we, we put a little to the box, yeah. the table bag. Okay. So each of us, some they can buy the garlic, the other one can buy sugar. So we, we, we buy from each other. 
Because even when we go outside to the town, we fear to go alone because maybe the men they can get us there, our, our husband. Yes. So we go in groups, so that's why we do also our work inside our village. So my question is, I've seen other ladies pregnant. So do they mean that they go and interact with the husband outside and come back or what happened? So the young the young ladies, those ones, they can see that outside it is good for her. So she can go outside to marry again. But we still roll up of her. So we still go to see the her, her life. When we see that they are, they, they do the same their husband do the same, we still welcome her in our village. Ah. Yeah. So you follow, you do the follow up. If a lady decides to go and marry, mm -hmm. to go and get married outside, you still follow up to check on yeah. her if, how they she's being treated, how they're being treated. Yeah. Oh. So all the construction work at the moment, like these houses here, mm -hmm. the ladies do them. Yeah, the ladies build this. Us, we build them. Even this one. <laughs> <laughs> so that's when we we we. we we can use the contractors because as you build yourself. Yeah. Like, wow. what, a, what a man can do. Yeah. Woman can do better. Yeah, let's do better. <laughs> yes. <Wow. laughs> Alright, thank you so much for uh, welcoming us in your community. So now you can you can show us around, right? Right. <laughs> As we made it to the the village with the only ladies, man, and you've heard the story. You know the story is a bit touching. Getting it one on one, you can see most of all these ladies are people who are either brought due to you know uh, conflicts or running away from FGM, rescued to this place, and they make this themselves. First time the men came to disturb the lady, so they, they stole their beans and also raped them. Uh -uh. In, this in this village? In this village. So they do also the first match. Man, man, what's wrong with you people? Behave yourself now. Why are you being so? <laughs> so that's why Rebecca planned to put this uh, modern door okay. for houses. Yes. So we plan to put all houses the modern door for the same. Because if they don't put the modern door, what happens? Men comes to rape them or disturb them. Can you imagine? Oh, what kind of men is that? Wow, I love it. Oh, it's too big. It's very big. Yeah. Right, let's go inside. Oh wow, guys! I women This is what I say when I say that what a man can do, a woman can do better. Just imagine. Oh, he has bedroom. Hello. This is where they sleep. Okay. And also the big children. Oh. And that's we use a cow skin as our mattress. This is a cow skin? Yeah, that one is a cow skin and that one is a goat skin. Oh wow. So the time when we came to sleep, we used the upper side because it is so high. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah. when we wake up, we turn to prevent for the dust. Yes. But this one is still under construction. Yeah. So we still yeah. Wow. So when it's done, the upper part is covered, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we use the cow dust. Wow. So this is cow skin. That one is safe. Okay, please, if you wish to support these women, you need to. It's very important because look at what they are doing. So women are building this by themselves. Mm -hmm. What is this? This is a cow dung? Yeah, this one is a cow dung. So we mix it with ash for three days yes. and we apply to the house. But now we don't have a cow to get that cow dung. Oh. So we go to the villages. So you, to you, collect. you used to have cows before? Yeah. What happened First to the cows? we have the cows. Okay. But the, you know the pastoral in people? Turkanas and Samburu. Okay. So that is the death of them, the pastoral in people. Yeah. So Turkana, they go to the Samburu side, they store their cattle. Oh. And also some Rentile or even Borana, they go to the yeah. other part, they to, store their cattle. So Turkana, they came here in Umoja, they store our cattle. It is around wow. 48 cattle. 48? Yeah. Yeah. They stole it. Men, the men stole it. The Turkanas. Oh, the Turkanas. Yeah, Turkanas. they stole it because they know that she is for the ladies only, the women. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so we go to the police to report it, but nothing can go on. Wait, men should be protecting women, not oppress them. This is so yeah. crazy.
and first time we use uh, ugali and also milk as our favorite food. Oh, yeah. ugali? Yeah, ugali and also milk. Wow. So the time when we don't have ugali, we mix a uh, blood with milk. So we feed our kids. Blood, cow blood? B uh, cow blood and also milk. Milk, as in fresh blood? Yeah. yeah, yeah fresh. Wow, is it delicious? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can go out. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. When you hear what men do outside there, you get sometimes you get ashamed. You know, on their behalf. This is cow dung. They used to construct the house. Man. Views by just women over here. Yeah. Right, wow. I guess are doing so great. So what, what can we do to support the community? Actually, if we, if we may ask, apart for the entrance fee, what again can we actually do? Or let's say people are actually seeing our video. What, what can they do to support the the village, the women? Just the women, not the men. Just the women. The, the, the other people to support us. Yeah, let's say, let's say. No, no, no. Like, let's say me, as an outsider, or people who have seen this video, who wants to support the women here, how can they do that? How can they support this? To send the donation through its website. Oh, can okay, they send with the donation? Yeah. You guys have a website? Yeah, we have also the website. Okay, guys, I, I will attach the website here. Please, can you reach them out? Yeah. Oh. Thank you so much for your time. Welcome. Are we going to another place again? Yeah, we yeah. go to see the garden okay. and then school. Okay. So guys, we are headed to the garden. This is where they grow like spinach, the way she told us, and some vegetables to sustain them. But mostly, they used to survive on blood and milk. They mix it and drink. And because, uh, because of the cattle rustling in different communities, the men came and took to took their you know their cows, their cows. Oh so God. now they are, they had to go for agriculture at least to plant the crops but you see how hot it is yeah. i'm using shades because it's too hot so guys we want to show you guys the garden this is it so this way where the food has been produced so now we just planting the Mombasa grass for okay. the, our small goats that we have okay. because we fear also to put more goats. Okay. So we uh. just put in the little one so we can also sell and also sell that buy. So, so you buy. say you fear to put more goats? Yeah. So that men will not come and steal it? Yes. If you have more men will come and steal? Yes. Why? Yes. Why are so men that's why we put the Mombasa women? grass you to make to put Mombasa yeah. grass inside our village so, yeah. so we can't taking them outside uh, so we're just cutting the grass and we put that there oh we don't want to take the goats outside outside yeah because we still we are they will still it. Uh, yeah we are the men but so does the men feel intimidated that you guys are living by yourselves mm -hmm. they feel intimidated yeah <laughs> they don't want to see you guys they live alone us, they, want they don't to... want to see us when we were surviving like this and yeah. now they see that has we chain Mm. More than them. Yeah, more than even their ladies at the village. So they can, they can, even the ladies when they see us, they also them they confuse, so they can divorce also from them. So to that's come. why they, they I hate get us. it. Yeah. But why do why do you want to hate them? Treat your women right. They will stay. If you treat them badly, they will come come to their safe heaven. Mm. Wow. You also keep honey, I see. Yeah. Yes. So honey. first time we have the elephant. They came in to disturb us to eat our grass. So elephant? Why, yeah, elephant. I've yeah. been here. The elephants around. Yeah. So you, you saw the signpost from where we came. There was an elephant signpost. Wow. <laughs> so crazy. they came and eat our grass. So that's why you put the beehive. When they see it, they think that the beef is inside, but nothing. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I see. <laughs> so oh, I see some tap, but you guys get water from government? The water? Yes. So we I have the bubble. Oh, due to by government? No. The, by the women? The donors from the Germany, they have us to oh. get the water. Ah. But the water is so salty. So that's why it can't even make the, some grass to 
bro. To grow yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so it's it just there. helping only Mombasa grass and some nim trees. You see the nim trees? Yeah. Some around our vents. I'm seeing greenhouse here that uh, somehow is destroyed. Hmm. It has the form over there. Yeah. Sorry. Well, guys, this is a, this is a farm over there. Let, let's, let's go check out the school. I think yeah. the farm is empty. Where's the road? This side. This side. Okay, guys, let's go check out the school. So, how long have you been here? I have now six years and three months. Six years? Yeah, six years. Um, six years and three months. So, 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 wow. Wow. <laughs> So you've seen it all. You've seen everything happen here yeah. for the six years you've been here. Yes. Oh man. Okay, this wolf stiff on stiff on to. These are donuts. Yeah. What? Why the donuts? The house. The fence. Uh, oh. So these are uh, what is being constructed here. So this one we put the diary, diary cows. Oh. oh. Hello. When you hear these stories, actually, you get ashamed as, as a man. To be a man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. You can't take off your lady. Are you fighting the ones are taking? Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. And to make it worse, they come when they see these two are prospering. Mm. They come they, to destroy. Yeah, they get jealous. What they get mean? jealous. <laughs> Oh my god. As the temperature is really really up and you can see most of this uh, homesteads they are not covered on top well. Yes. So they get like direct sunlight. Sun. And it's too it's too it's harsh. Imagine. So this is the school. Get dark. Mm. This is the school. Wow, so guys. <laughs> so guys, this is the school over here. You can see. Hey, all the kids are they are they your, your kids? Are they the, uh, kids, kids belonging to the they village? Belong to the community? They belong also from the village and also from the community. Oh, okay. The school is not just for the community. Just for the, everybody can come to the school. Any kid can come to the school. Wow, this one like women because kids have to be educated. How about you guys? Hi. Hello. <laughs> wow, so this is the classroom. Oh, this is now it is a first class for years. Yes. And they teach them the two languages, Kiswahili and also Hindi. Oh. So when they finish that class, they go to the second class five to six years when they finish now that one they go to the red one oh, so outside the, the other part there oh everything is in yeah. <laughs> you guys have everything here yeah. so, cool. so christy Yo. so where are we going now to the market oh that is where you sell like uh, you are jewelry jewelry yeah. oh. and also there's a song the bye bye song. Bye bye song. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we are still guests here, so we have a song before we leave. This is where we came in with, with the entire village. So, do you allow people from outside, like, to come and buy, to come and shop in the market? Yes. For sure, because we only depend with the market. Oh. Mm -hmm.
Hello. Yes. 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 This is, a, this is a market place that they sell their goods, their belongings. These are the goods. And my friend cannot choose. Okay. Wristband for men. This one. Something like this. Oh, here, here, here. There's no small one. Yam Tumzim. 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 What do you say, Najama? Hey! Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling her I don't have anyone, but she cannot accept. So so can she's, I'm telling her, she's telling me to take for my wife. Okay. And I don't have somebody. You're a single republic. Which one do you want to buy? Guys, we are. We are done. We are. This is. We are going to get a goodbye song from the ladies. Then uh, we go and meet Rebecca. We we'll just get to talk to her to tell us, you know, how how she a little bit history of this place because today we are very lucky to find. Her. So some minutes. Just going to get the song then to go to Rebecca. So we went to the market. That was the market that I'm just from. They sell the goods and they share the money among themselves, like all of them. <coughs> Do you notice that people are here? They are so, they are so healthy. What, huh? What's the secret? You guys are looking so healthy. <laughs> <laughs> what's the secret? Is it peace of mind? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, these guys are looking so, so And also, so even when they were, the people are <laughs> using that cleanness. Yeah, so yeah. So even that is to make the clothes and this place. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. 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 That is a goodbye song. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Musungu means white. We are not Musungu. Musungu, we are not Musungu. Musungu means white. So they are getting white. The white people are called Musungu. Okay. So when they are singing, this is when they are stopping, they are laughing because these are not whites. Okay, we are not Muslims. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, now I get <laughs> So you cannot get understand the joke if you don't. Goodbye, so.
all seeing us out. It's really nice as we came as visitors, now they're seeing us out. So guys, if you're watching this video, you're being, you know, seen off from uh, the village, Umoja village. Kindly like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now I'm headed to talk to Mama Re Rebecca. So watch the next episode, you'll see the interview to me and uh, Mama Rebecca. As for now, we get the good guys song. So guys, we are leaving. That is the village, the Moja village. That is a famous village that only men that men are not allowed in that village. And we've had a very successful day today. Yeah. We've met uh, the founder, uh, but uh, there are so many people there yeah. at the campsite. I think you and saw. They, and they came before us. And they came before us. <laughs> so as you know, we just fixed ourselves. We got uh, Christine. Who took us around the place and we wanted when time that we well, wanted to try she, she actually have gave us someone who took us someone who speak english who yes, took us yes. around to yeah. make out time for us also yeah even though she wasn't that busy she still gave us time yeah somebody I wanted someone to yeah. show us around give us the history that we needed yeah. that's so good yeah i think next time if we come early and we we'll find out we'll like we'll before we come in yeah we call yeah so that it's we better have our, our own time yeah it's better to call yes. I love how they, they obey rule of, they obey their own laws. I love it. And they are super organized. No breaking the rules. <laughs> no, even she doesn't break the rules. She doesn't break the rules. And those ladies are there to hold accountable. Yes. If she get, says what she's not supposed to say or does what she's not supposed to do, she's fine. Yes. Even even the women even the women said they are very we came from here? Yes. yes. Even the women, they are, they are, even the men, mm -hmm. they are very respectful of that woman. Very respectful. I see yeah. she was telling her, give me my, my phone. phone. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. Give me water. Give me water. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. Come on, take away this coffee. Yes, ma. Hey. <laughs> man. I think that, that's why men are jealous. Huh? <laughs> that is when men don't want them. Yeah. Oh because they God. see the level of order there and the level of... Uh, level of cleanness, yeah. orderliness, matriarchy. Respectfulness. Wow. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, it's been a, a successful day. Thank you so much for watching this video until the end. Kindly check my brother out, Kenneth Noachi. Yes, guys, on the way to yes. 100,000 subscribers. On the way to 100K. Yes. Yeah. I brought a Kenyan to this village. Which Kenyan? <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you a Nigerian? <laughs> <laughs> you know about the Moja village before? <laughs> uh, I had plans, but it's just that now we have to, you know, yeah. fasten the, the process. Because these are like the tourists that are being beach, dropped. It's hiked. Yeah, yeah, but, but no problem. Just go in there. Yeah. So, so guys, bye bye. Yes, Kindly guys. like and subscribe we'll to the channel. Nairobi. On my way to 10k subscribers. Yes. Now you're on way back to Nairobi. Yes. And the temperature is something else. Yes. Oh. Karibu tana. Karibu tena. Karibu tena means welcome again. Yes, welcome again. <laughs> bye bye bye. See you next time in the next episode. We are going back to the city. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh.